What's good? It's your girl Town. I'm back with another video. So today, as you can see by the description box, we're going to be doing a updated skin routine. And my skin has been doing rather well lately. Um, we had a little miss, you know, a couple weeks ago, but let's get right into this video. So I'm just taking a look at a couple of my dark marks and my imperfections on my face. Um, and we don't like dead skin, but we gonna get that together. Um, I got something new and y'all gonna see that in the video. So let's go. So right now I'm showing y'all my Vanity Planet spin brush um, thing. And <laughs> I've had one of these before, but they work really, really good. So I definitely recommend you guys go get one. Um, I also use this Noxima, Noxima not sure how to say it but y'all seen this in my last video as well now what I've updated is these creams and we're gonna get into those when we put those on so right now I'm just wrapping my hair making sure it don't or doesn't get in my face or that I don't get any products in my hair because I'm gonna be washing this wig sis. So right now I'm just wetting my face with some lukewarm water, not cold water because that closes the pores and hot water will damage the skin. Um, and I'm just, ooh, wait, technical difficulties. Okay. And I'm just showing you guys the brush. Now this package comes with three brushes, which is lovely. One is for sensitive skin. Um, one is to exfoliate and one is just like a regular deep cleansing brush. Um, and I'm just showing you guys those now. I believe that is the regular deep cleansing brush. Um, it might be the charcoal infused one or is the other one? Uh, let's see. That's the charcoal infused one um, for exfoliation. And then the one I'll be using today is for the sensitive skin. It is a silicone brush um, and it's just a little cleaner. So I like that one. Now, if I do wear makeup or anything, I will use my deep cleansing brush and I'll use the exfoliation brush like once um, or twice every two weeks. So now I'm just going in and wetting that and putting the Noxima on it. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Noxima, Noxima, y'all let me know. And I just apply that to my face first. I don't like to put it on the brush because once the brush gets to spinning, things just, they fly everywhere. I'm not going to lie. It's very messy. So, yeah, I'm just applying this to the face. And then I'm going to go in with the brush. And now I'm just putting that brush on the second speed. I clicked the button twice. Um, there are two speeds. Sorry, forgot to say that. <laughs> yeah, I use the second speed. Um, it gets a little cleaner for me, especially when I'm using a silicone brush because it's not as harsh as the other two brushes. And I'm just going in a circular motion, says so she's washing my face as regular. Now, I actually like to rinse um, in between, like, cheek and forehead, like, just rinsing off the dirt because I feel like I'm just transferring dirt if I'm not rinsing it. So, if I move to a different section of the face um, and you see me going into the sink, it's because I'm rinsing off that dirt and that um, excess product off the brush so I'm not transferring dirt. So now that we have got our face all clean, we are going to go in and we're going to rinse the face, rinse the skin. So stay tuned, sis. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm. You. Yeah. 
and we're back and as you can see i got all the products off my skin make sure that nothing is on your ears or your neck and i'm just drying my face off with a paper towel because i feel like that is cleaner than a regular towel regular towels contain bacteria um they're just not always the cleanest so a paper towel is the best route to go and they're disposable So once we're done drying the face, as I said, we do have some imperfections. We do have some dark marks, um, some scarring. So I'm going to go in with my cortisone or my off-brand cortisone, whatever. Got it from Walmart. Um, and it works really good on um, any like pimples that are trying to start because it'll clean out that dirt. So I'll just set that on there before I go to sleep and it'll get rid of any of those. But I didn't have any active breakouts. So that wasn't necessary. So now I'm going in with my different gel and this is my holy grail. I use this every night before I go to bed, especially if I'm having a breakout. And literally I wake up and these bumps will be even like smaller or sometimes they'll even be gone. Um, I don't wipe this all over my face. As, you, as you've seen, I put a little dot on my finger and I'm just kind of like putting that in the areas where the bumps are. But I don't just like put a ton on my hand and just wipe it on my face. I try and focus on um, the areas where I'm breaking out. Also, it's mass season, sis. So this stuff works great in the chin area and the nose area. So yeah. Okay, moving back into the video. I don't know where I went. We're just going to go in with this Mario, but this is so spray. I don't know how to say it. So mind your business. <laughs> Um, and we're just going to spray that all over to bring some moisture back into the face. Um, my facial wash doesn't really dry my skin out, but since it's winter, we want to prevent dry skin. Dry skin makes me break out worse, is what I figured out. So that is pretty much my updated skin routine. Not a lot of things have changed, but they have changed. Um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning into this video and for following me on this YouTube journey. It has been a journey and I'll see you guys later. Love you so much.